Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tom Mason here and today we are heading out camera trapping. I've got something awesome in my backpack to show you guys. So uh, let's go set it up. Right, so I've just soaked my leg as I've sat down to film this bit, but I thought I'd give you a bit of background. Um, if you're new to the channel, my name's Tom Mason. I'm a professional wildlife and nature photographer from the UK. Uh, I love getting out into the field and making images of wildlife. And um, specifically, I really enjoy uh, using remote cameras to create something a little bit different and um, getting shots of animals within their environment whilst having the camera positioned nice and close. And so over the last few years, I've been obviously exploring the technology behind that and kidding myself up with better and better gear to help me do the job out in the field. For the last few years, I've been using the fantastic Scout, um, the Kinesis Scout uh, camera trap triggers. They're a beam trigger that allows me to be really accurate um, in terms of the placement of my subject within a frame and triggering the camera exactly when I want it to. And so when the guys over at uh, Kinesis uh, were talking to me about the new product that they've been developing. Of course, I was extremely excited, and that is what's in my backpack and the Kinesis Scout camera box and brand new Scout flashes that we're talking about today. So uh, let's get it out and show you guys uh, what this system has to offer. Okay then, so the Kinesis camera trap system is a fully wireless um, functioning system for work out in the field. The whole idea behind it has been designed to give you rugged durability, long lifetime, and also to reduce any wires in your system that can result um, in problems like, you know, animals walking through them, pulling them out, your system coming apart, anything like that, you're not gonna have any issues with that. And hopefully it addresses one of the key problems that I've had in the past with wireless systems, that they just weren't reliable enough, and additionally, the battery life wasn't very good. Meaning that, you know, you could set a system up, have the wireless triggers, position your flashes everywhere you want, but then they just wouldn't trigger, the batteries would die, or a slight bit of dampness would just break everything and then they didn't work. But hopefully the Kinesis system is gonna completely revolutionize that for me. Now it's all based around these. Um, these are the Kinesis Scout um, beam triggers. You can also use the PIR with the box um, that I'll talk about in a bit. But the beam triggers are my go-to. They're extremely accurate. You know, I can set them up and choose the precise point of where my animal is going to cross to get my image. You can choose which direction it's going, set how many images you want it to take, everything like that. That's really, really nice. Usually I would have one of these wired to my camera, but now with the camera box, I don't need any wires at all. That's fantastic. So next up in the system is the camera box itself. And you'll think to yourself, well, Tom, this looks pretty similar to some of the other ones you have. And yes, the design, you know, using that kind of Peli 1300 series uh, box is, is similar to the things that I designed, but inside is where the magic happens. Now, in here, you have the Scout controller. Now, this gives complete wireless flexibility to the position of the, uh, the camera box to connect with the triggers and then to the flashes, meaning I don't have to run any cables and it should work perfectly. Additionally, this has a little Wi-Fi button on it, a little Wi-Fi router that will connect to my mobile phone that I'll show you in a little bit. And what that does is it means that I can control and customize all the parameters from the whole system from the app that just works great. Um, that's really good for when you're working in the field. It means that I can also control the flashes that I'll show you just now um, and set the powers and everything whilst I'm still behind the camera, meaning things are just faster set up. You don't have to keep walking back and forward to your flashes. You can just do it right there behind the camera and get that image dialed in. Of course, everything on this is run off a nice big lithium battery. Uh, that means you get about two, three months work in the field um, that's fantastic. So the next thing that is really exciting are that of the flashes. Now these are the new Kinesis flashes, um, Scout flashes. You see they're all similar design. Um, they work in exactly the same way. You've got a nice on button. You can change your power settings, everything like that. But these are completely wireless to work with the system. They are completely waterproof, you know, built in that solid housing. They have one quarter um, mount threads on the bottom. So you can just position them wherever you want using different hardware. And they are based again on those big lithium ion batteries in the front here that come out. Um, that's really quite nice. They feel so solid. And um, one of the things that is a problem when you're camera trapping are flash guns. If they get wet, they break. And especially SB28s, we're running out of them in the kind of secondhand market. I luckily have a few um, stashed away, but it's really nice to try a new flash that hopefully is gonna give me long-term 
durability in the field as well as being able to have i think it's about two to three thousand shots go through one of these that should be really really cool um but yeah let's get setting this thing up Right, so when it comes to camera trapping, the first thing you've got to get done is find that composition. And so in the landscape that I'm in, I've actually got quite a defined composition really, because behind me um, here, there's a nice trail that runs down and that trail is gonna to lead to a perfect point that jumps off into the river. So I'm just setting my camera up so it looks along the side of the river and hopefully that's gonna give me um, a nice angle on the subject. And once I have the camera in place, I've got my focus and everything's locked on, then I can start working out where the trigger's going to go uh, and then the lighting as well. I've gone ahead and got the camera set up, um, got my composition locked in that's nice. It's looking at a patch of ground where I'm hoping the animals are gonna come through uh, down this track for a nice environmental portrait. So then the Kinesis Scout gives me the options to set up the whole camera from my phone. That's fantastic. I've got wireless built in the box, so it creates a little wireless network, and then I've connected to that using the app. And this gives me the opportunity to control all of the different devices that I've got connected. So along the bottom here, I've got my camera, receiver one, and then flash one and two. Um, and what I can do is actually set up all the parameters of them right here without having to go and test them. So for example, if I wanted to look at flash one over there on the side, um, I can test far off. So you might see that go off in the background. And it's currently at an eighth power, but I could drop that all the way down to um, maybe a 64th. And then again, I can fire that and see how that's going to look. And what that means is whilst I'm sat behind the camera, um, when I've got my lights into the positions where I think they're gonna be right, I can then adjust my power settings from here to get the uh, look dialed in exactly how I want it. Again, on the camera side, um, instead of having to go over to the uh, triggers and dial in the different things there, I, I just have it really easy to access on my phone, meaning I can change the number of pictures it's going to take, um, the delay before it takes that first shot, um, how long it's gonna be on for, how many pictures I'm going to get in that time. Um, and also I can have stuff like periodic half press to wake the camera up to make sure you're getting that first time fire all the time. And of course, extended, you can go to secondary cameras, things like that, and you can have loads of different things all you have to do is turn the devices on and then just press the find devices up in the corner and everything comes right into your app that means it's going to hopefully be much quicker to get things set up today um, that really should be quite nice so what i'm going to do now is position my flashes to the location where i think they're going to work and then we're going to dial in this image and uh, kind of get that test shot done Right, so this is the Scout flash gun. Um, they are fully weather sealed uh, flashes um, built around um, a lithium ion battery that gives up to two to three months of field work. That is absolutely great. Um, you can see here that I've got a bit of black foil on. This is just because this side of the flash goes towards uh, my camera and I don't want to get any flare, but also it's because these flashes are fixed at a 24 mil widespread. Um, absolutely fine for most camera trapping purposes, but sometimes when you want to narrow the view a little bit, um, you are gonna have to use a little bit of black foil. That's absolutely fine. On the back, uh, what you've actually got is a very easy menu system. Uh, you can just turn it on and see what power you're at, do a test fire and things like that. Check that you are on the right, um, the right uh, Wi-Fi system uh, to make sure that everything's going to go off wirelessly. Um, but right now, I don't have any problems with that um, and it's all working fine. And of course, what I can do is I can test fire from my app to make sure everything's working. Um, and as I can see, uh, let me just make sure I got the right one. Everything's going off exactly as it should. That's brilliant. Now, we'll just check number two. Now my second flash is in one of those classic camera trap spots, up, out of the way, um, so that it's looking down on my subjects. It gives a really natural look to the image, um, really enhances the feel of a frame. Um, but of course, by putting them up out of the way, it makes them far more complex to get to. So many times I've been climbing up trees, rigging cameras, it takes absolutely ages. You keep having to get down, go back to the camera, check it, see what it looks like, oh, I wanna change it a little bit, get back up the tree, do it again and that can take absolutely hours if you're on your own. However, right now what I can do is because I've got it set up and I've got the wireless, I can literally just tap fire and if I duck out the way, 
it goes off straight away. I can test everything from the app and I can also model my lighting. So when I've put the flashes in the position that I think is gonna work, I can fire one, see how it looks with the uh, shutter. Then I can fire the other one and see where that's going to fill in. And between the two, I can balance them out really nicely and, and concisely while still being behind the camera. It means I don't have to keep running around all over the place setting up these different flashes. Oh, side note, this is mounted on a Manfrotto um, backlight beam thing. Um, I'll put a link in the description on a super clamp. I've got one of these here for this one and the light that's down there is also on the same thing. Right then, so everything is now out and in position. The camera box is nicely composed. And using the app, I've had the chance to set up all my lighting uh, off to the side and behind me here. Um, the sensor is running straight across the middle, so as the animals walk down the track, hopefully it will trigger and get the shot as they enter into the water. That would be really nice. You know, for me today, I found this so simple and easy to use. I'm used to climbing into the tree, keep resetting every flash and, you know, long-term running cables, finding they don't reach, anything like that. But this was just nice. I could put the flashes exactly where I wanted them, dial in the power remotely, check how it looked, and then adjust things um, whilst I was still behind the camera. And as a one-man operator, that is so, so handy. You know, if there's two or three of you out there, you can have one at each flash adjusting it, it's really handy, but I don't have the luxury of multiple assistants with me usually. Um, so when I'm doing things on my own, being able to use the app to wirelessly control everything is just fantastic. Now, of course, I can't give any full review on this until I've had it out in the field for a little while and test if it can actually do the job and get loads of images. But the thing is, I know about the Kinesis products and I've used the Scout for um, years now, especially photographing Jaguars and things like that. And they work just so well out in the field. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be absolutely great and the flash is um, the same. But right now, what I'm going to do is just close this down, head home, and that's it for today. You know, guys, if you've got any questions about camera traps or wildlife photography in general, drop it in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to get back to you. If you want to know more about these, I will drop links to everything featured in today's video um, below. And as always, guys, you know, get out there, enjoy your wildlife photography and I'll see you soon.